What's up folks, Commander Soul here, and welcome to Commander's Log Episode 3. I know it's been months and months until, um, since the last Commander's Log episode, and this time we're in a different game, Unturned. It's actually a fairly old game now, but it's still getting updated and it's still brilliant. So we're going to hop in to a new server, uh, to a server I've been playing on a bit recently. It's quite a new server. And it's a PvP one, so let's see if we can get some kills. Supposedly there's kits, but I have no idea how to use them. So we're going to play it like it's a normal game. It's on the Washington map, which is nice. I like the Washington map. It's got a nice mix of military presence and other units. So, I have no idea. Oh, I do know where we are. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Clearwater Campground. Uh, let's just check our skills. As expected, we have everything. Except the overkill. And as for maps, Clearwater Campground should be this way. This is because it's a PvP server. They don't want to have you wasting your time skilling up. So I'm going to just sprint by into here and steal some loot. I think the uh, zombies pop a lot of stuff. Yep, they do. Crossbow. I don't need the compass. We'll take the shovel. So who's next? Ooh, a chart map. Don't need that. I will take the wheat and the corn and the fishing rod. I will drop the compass because it's unnecessary. I will take off the hat and I will salvage it. Oh, actually, I can pick up this and salvage it as well. Craft another rag, craft a bandage. Mark that as slot eight and that as slot four. We got a sprinter over there. Donk. Ooh, another crossbow. Ah, oh, I can't pick it up. Okay, that's a lot of stuff I definitely want. I don't want to be using a shovel. I will salvage that. Craft a rag. Salvage that, craft more rags. Pick up that, pick up that, salvage, salvage. And now we can make some bandages and better yet, dressings, which are improved bandages. It's going to be nighttime soon, I can feel it. Uh, let's rotate these around a bit so we've got some more space for a crossbow, which we can strip to get the arrow. I don't care about the snare. I do want that. Water is always useful. So let's see what the other one went and dropped. Oh, a shotgun and an arrow. Oh, no, that's my arrow. I don't mind if I do take the shotgun. Right, where are the other zombies? It's getting a little bit dark, so I will... Ooh, okay, this is a toss-up. Right, that should... Deal with that, and I can use a torch as a deadly weapon in this game. Cloakers. I hate cloakers, but if you get them... Uh, what do you use? 20 gauge? 20 gauge. Uh, what else is here? Eggs. Wheat. More 20 gauge. 
Äh, so. Hallo. Just bludgeon them to death with this good old fashioned. Ooh, dark bed. Oh, that's a bedroll. Lovely. I can respawn. Okay. I'm in need of a backpack. I'm also in need of more storage, just in general. Fishing rod. Ooh, hawk count. That might actually be better than the shotgun, but I like the shotgun, and I don't use them enough. Oh, hello, little guy. These guys, crawlers, make you bleed. They are dangerous. Right, let's uh, eat something. And uh, eat something else that's slightly disgusting. Yep, we're just eating a bunch of raw eggs, folks. Ah, oh, they didn't give me any uh, water hydration. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a crawler. The sprinters are fast and do quite a lot of damage, but they're fragile. A snorkel. I'll take the ammunition. Don't mind if I do. And I'll start organising. Getting all that ammunition into one nice, organised fashion. <laughs> snorkel draws oxygen from diving tank by Wi-Fi. All right, that should be all the zombies around here. This place is pretty well looted. So that's eight. Ooh, salty. Oh, wow, that's not good. Okay. That's a lot of bad for you stuff. Right, that third bar. I'll take a, I'll walk you through the bars quickly. They are health, food, water, radiation, energy, and oxygen. If the top one gets too low, you die. If the next two get to zero, ah, oh, it's a blood moon as well. Zombies are going to be tougher tonight. <laughs> if the next two get dropped to zero, you start taking damage and then you die. If the uh, radiation bar gets to zero, I'm not entirely sure what happens. I think you just start taking damage and then you die, but it might just be insta death instead. It's been a while since I've had that happen to me. But then we get to the uh, stamina bar, the energy bar. That just refills, as does the oxygen bar. But if it drops to zero, you die. The only way the oxygen bar can drop to zero is if you go underwater and don't resurface. Now, in case you're wondering, there are other people on the server. Three of them. Four of them. Vasily, White, Bones X, and Gamble Belly. Uh, this is a fairly small map, so they might turn up. If they do, I will have to crossbow them to death or pump shotgun. But if it comes to that, there's a slight issue. But yeah, I'm just going to make a run for Seattle, the main city of this map, because that has everything, literally. And most importantly, a hospital, so I can get that radiation gone. I'll also see if I can find a backpack. Because backpacks are so useful, they add a lot of storage space. As you may have noticed, we do not have a lot. Oh no, somebody who's already uh, fallen foul of the zombies. Uh, is this a GPS we have? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, this is a GPS map. Right, I thought there was a uh, checkpoint somewhere around here. But I must be... Oh, no, there it is, over by Kamano Campground, which is... Right, there'll be military zombies there, which means we can get some military hardware. Which will be nice. Uh, a combat vest would be very much appreciated. <laughs> Especially if there are other players out there who aren't as nice as the ones I was playing with a couple days ago. 
this is a PvP server, so they are allowed to just kill me on site. But there are a couple of guys out there who don't do that. I don't know about these ones. They might decide they want to get some action. Uh, which I wouldn't object to, actually. A nice PvP fight would be cool. As long as I don't just get sniped out of nowhere. Once I've hit this uh, little military crash, I'll probably build up a little area. A few storage crates, not much. And survive. Ah, oh, he got mauled again. Poor guy. Oh, they've got a spitter. Right, there are five classes of zombies in Unturned. Yeah, got him. Everything else other than spitters and exploders, I can deal with easily. Right, military knife. That's vital. Yes, desert military vest. I'll take the desert beret as well. Apparently it's bills. Right, now we've got a second dressing. Good. Should I take the Avenger? Hmm. I'll leave it, see if there's something better around. Ooh, crawler. Okay. I don't get stunned on a blood moon. Ooh, forgot about that little feature. Right, where'd he go? <sighs> yeah. Blood Moon Zombies give you a lot more XP. I will definitely take that, which means I will go and pick up the... Uh, does that give more space? I think it does. Let's salvage all of these, because we're going to need a lot more health items at this rate. Ah, oh, I ran out of cloths. Okay. Craft a bandage. Get it down there, get that down there, and that as well. You know, I will pick up a military knife. It's better than the torch, and I can use it in daylight. Right, now let's head back over here. Oh, that's just a regular walker. Those I can deal with no... Ooh, saber tooth, a sniper. And a pistol, which I will pick up. Actually, I'll pick up both. Sabertooth are very nice weapons. Right, I'll strip this Avenger for the ammunition and pick up the other one. Right, there's another walker. I can, if I can deal with them one by one, this will be easy. That another saber tooth. That is another saber tooth, and a heartbreaker, which is an assault rifle. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade that. So let's strip the saber tooth. Pick up the other saber tooth. I won't touch the heartbreaker. I like long range or close range fighting, not mid range. And besides, the heartbreaker isn't silenced, so I can't use it on zombies without giving away the fact. Oh, here comes another one. <clears throat> what the feast is, in case you're wondering, it's a big old... Uh, thing. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. There we go. 
uh, salvage. There we go. Now we've got enough to make another couple bandages. And we can also pick up what we dropped. I am not going to touch the master key again. I don't need it. And yes, it would be useful, but there are other things more useful than a shotgun. I don't know where my other arrow went, and that's annoying me. Ooh, he's back. Okay, so you can stun lock them. You just need to have upgrades. Is that another saber tooth mag? That is another saber tooth mag. Good, this is looking up. Oh no, that's empty, isn't it? Yep. Drop it. We're actually quite low on health. What can I eat? Okay, that gave me some water back. And that gave me 1%. I didn't want to do that, but it should get me healing. Oh, two of them. Not good. Damn it. Uh, blast. Well, as you can see, that's what happens when you're not prepared. I'm going to... Uh, this is just going to be a little short video. So, see you guys. Commander Soul, over.